this question of uh, sort, sort of my own, uh, my, my own biggest failure, you know, the, the ways in which I've failed as a leader is, uh, is, uh, is it's, a, it's a big issue for me. It, it's one that I, I, I face and that impacts me, in, impacts me, you know, at, at, a, at a really deep level. And I, I think for me, as I think about the areas that I'm challenged as a leader is how, um, how in the interest of short-term harmony, I fail to address kind of long-term questions of value and culture. And wh what does that mean? You know, what, what does that look like? And so for me, the, one of the most challenging things is like, is, is managing conflict. You know, we're, after all, we're, we're, we're humans, right? And so we're going to have conflict. We are going to disagree. We are going to see the world differently. And there's a, there's a way uh, to lead where you just try to kind of set that aside in the interest of short-term harmony and trying to get along with one another. And you, and you don't try to have the hard conversations and or you don't do it without a sense of judgment and we're actually better organizations when we can have the harder conversations we're better together when we address the kinds of conflicts or different uh, worldviews that we might bring to bear and uh, we're more sustainable uh, when we do that we're less sustainable when we just try to sweep things under the rug and so that's that's been Shoot, almost 30, now, 30 years now of running organizations, I think that's been an area that uh, I've constantly had to be on the lookout for and make sure that I am attending to that uh, appropriately as the leader. Mm -hmm.